Happy New Year. Steven to come up here for a seat. Welcome and Happy New Year to all of you. For those of you who don't know me, I am Municipal Clerk Nancy Brown. I'd like to call the 2023 Township of Wyckoff Reorganization Meeting to order. 
First, we'd like to invite the Wyckoff Volunteer Fire Department's Honor Guard to the front to present the colors. Please rise. I'd like to invite Nicholas, Daniela, and Adriana Vital to come forward to lead the flag salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now I'd like to invite Father Stephen Fichter from St. Elizabeth's Church here in Wyckoff to lead us in the invocation. Almighty God, we thank you for this new day of this new year. We thank you for all of the blessings which you showered upon us as a community in 2022. May we always have grateful hearts that cherish all of your messages of grace and peace and mercy and love. And may we extend that to everyone we meet. And in a special way, we ask you to look down upon our community here in Wyckoff. May you look down upon the leadership of our, of our town. In a special way, our, our new mayor, may you bless him and all of his efforts to lead us as a united community. And may we always remember that we are truly all sons and daughters of you, almighty God, and that we may treat each other with the highest respect and kindness. And we ask all these blessings on this day, which we also consider the world day of peace. We ask you, Lord, to allow your peace to reign in all of our minds and our hearts and throughout our communities. And we ask all these blessings in your name, you who are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Please post the colors. This reorganization meeting of the Wyckoff Township Committee is now in session. In accordance with the Open Public Meetings Act, notice of this meeting appears on our annual schedule of meetings. A copy of said annual schedule has been posted on the bulletin board in Memorial Town Hall. A copy has been filed with the municipal clerk, as well as with the Record, the Ridgewood News, and the North Jersey Herald News, all newspapers having a general circulation throughout the Township of Wyckoff. At least 48 hours prior to this meeting, the agenda thereof was similarly posted, filed, and emailed to said newspapers. The agenda with the resolutions and ordinances to be considered was posted on the township's website at minutes and agendas. I'd like to recognize any former township committee chairpersons who may be in attendance in the room today. Please stand. Um, the Honorable Edward V. Torak, Judge Superior Court of New Jersey, retired, will now administer the oath of office to Township Committee Member Rudolph E. Blunstein. It's over here. Thank you, Father. No problem. It's my, it's my business. <laughs> 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 Thank you. <laughs> 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 I, Rudolph Butch, 
Armstrong. I, Ralph Bonesby Jr. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And the Constitution of the State of New Jersey. And that I will bear true, true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will, will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And to the governments established. And to the governments established. In the United States. In the United States. And in this state. And in this state. Under the authority of the people. Under the authority of the people. So help me God. So help me God. And. And. I. I. Who solemnly swear. Who solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly. And justly. Perform all the duties of the office of. Perform all the duties of the office of township committee. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. That I will not use my office. That I will not use my office. To grant preferential treatment. To grant preferential treatment. Nor to seek personal gain. Nor to seek personal gain. Favor or advantage. Favor or advantage. Not available to the public. Not available to the public. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Congratulations. a nomination for 2023 Township Committee Chairperson? Madam Secretary, if I may. Of course, Mr. Bush. Tom and Mary Madigan moved their young family from Boston to Wyckoff, New Jersey in 1983, 40 years ago, and went on to raise seven children here and became part of the fabric of our community. Their daughter, Erin, and son-in-law, Nick, Doug. Vitale, Doug. 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 Grandson Nick. Oh, Doug. I know what, Doug. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Doug Vitale. Are here today with their, with their grandchildren. Doug is a councilman in Point Pleasant Beach, New Jersey. Council president, I believe. Yes. Congratulations and welcome to our meeting in Wyckoff. Thank you. Glad to have you here very much. <laughs> Tom's commitment to the community runs deep. He's a longtime member of the Wyckoff Midland Park Rotary Club, where he was part, was past president and participated in such humanitarian projects as providing fresh water to communities in Africa and transporting sick children from Eastern Europe to receive life-saving life surgery in the United States. He is a 14-year veteran of the Rampointy Hill School Board, where he served as president. He's a faithful and active member of St. Elizabeth's Church. Most importantly, he's a four-term member of the Wyckoff Township Committee, where he served as mayor in 2019, and he served on the committees, all committees, including finance, personnel, police, fire, planning board, among many others. Tom is more than anyone else I can think of, qualified to be mayor in 2023. Plus, he loves Wyckoff, that I know. Therefore, it is my honor and pleasure to nominate my friend Tom Madigan for mayor in 2023. Thank you. Second. Thank you. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. And Mr. Boonstra? Yes. With an affirmative vote, the motion is approved. We're going to take a recess so that Mr. Madigan can take a
I do want to announce that the oaths of office for the 2023 fire department officers will take place at fire company number one immediately following this meeting. We'll now um, administer the oath of office to residents appointed or reappointed to serve the township as volunteers on various municipal boards and commissions. Okay, fellow members of the Township Committee, family, friends, neighbors, Happy New Year. Thank you all coming to our reorganization meeting today. Special thanks and recognition to Assembly Member Krista Phillips, former Mayor Gordon Stanley, Mrs. Betty Vanderplatt, who is the wife of former Mayor John Vanderplatt, and who will be celebrating her 96th birthday on January 9th. Let's give her a round of applause. Uh, thank you again, Judge Edward Torak, Council President and son-in-law, Doug Vitale from Point Pleasant, and uh, close friend, and I really appreciate him coming, Bergen County Administrator Tom Dutch. Thank you very much. <laughs> Congratulations to Rudy Boonstra uh, on his re-election, and to all members of the Township Committee, we, p we pledge to keep our emphasis on values, integrity, dedication, and service. First of all, I'd like to recognize a few extra special people, including the lovely Mary Madigan, <laughs> uh, my daughter Erin, her husband uh, Doug, and their three children, Nicholas, Daniela, and Adriana. And thank you for leading us in the pledge. You did a great job. I'd also like to big shout out to all the members of the Brick House Cigar Shop that are in the back. Thanks, guys, for coming over. <laughs> I'll probably catch you at the second game, you know. 
Mary and I uh, clearly made the right choice when we moved to Wyckoff in 1983, and this year we celebrate 40 years in town. We are so fortunate to have raised our seven children here and for coming so Im immersed in this special community we love and call home. Keeping with our history, today we are here for the annual Wyckoff reorganization meeting. We are here to look forward and to celebrate all those that contribute to what makes Wyckoff so special. You know, it's funny, people always ask, what makes Wyckoff so desirable and so special? Well, the answer is, it's our people and our rich traditions. We are thankful for having over 120 members on our volunteer fire department. We have over 40 members on our volunteer ambulance course, corps, and we celebrate the many residents who volunteer on our various boards and commissions, including planning board, zoning board, design review, board of health, library board, shade tree commission, Zabriskie house trustees, garden of Wyckoff, environmental commission, parks and recreation board, and the many volunteer coaches all supporting our many youth programs. Wyckoff also enjoys the benefits of many volunteer and civic organizations making Wyckoff the vibrant community we cherish. It's a special place to grow, grow up and raise a family. We boast of low taxes, excellent schools, parks and recreation programs, and many houses of worship. Special thanks to our Father Stephen Fichter from St. Elizabeth's Church for that nice invocation today. And I'd like you to stand <clears throat> and congratulate him as he celebrates his 23rd anniversary today as a priest. Honestly. He's doing a great job at St. Elizabeth's, so far so good, and he's barred as a priest from disclosing anything that happens in confession, so just remember that, Father Stephen. <laughs> Wyckoff also boasts of having effective... Oh, yeah. Wyckoff boasts of having an effective municipal government led by a township administrator, Matt Cavallo, and his team in town hall all committed to providing exceptional service to our residents at a, to at a low tax rate. Special thanks to Nancy Brown for serving two months this year as our administrator, and uh, she did a fantastic job back in January, February, before Matt came on board. So Nancy, thank you. <laughs> our accredited police department keeps us safe and makes many contributions. Our DPW team and all town employees all deserve accolades for providing the services we all enjoy. We are thrilled to have welcomed over 900 families to Wyckoff in the past three years. So 900 new families have chosen Wyckoff to make their home. And I would like to ensure all our residents that the governing body will continue to meet the many challenges in the coming year and will do so honestly, openly, and fairly guided by a simple and shared goal of making our community a better place to live. So in conclusion, that's the best part of the speech, right? In conclusion. <laughs> Let's continue the rich traditions as friends and neighbors. Wyckoff is without a doubt a welcoming and inclusive town. As I've said many times, <clears throat> where else could a kid from Boston with a little bit of an accent, a wicked Red Sox fan, and a Patriots fan become mayor? So thank you for this honor to serve in this role and for all your support in the coming year ahead. Okay, I'd like to uh, go back on the agenda to number seven, if we could. Um, Mr. Mayor, I would like to make a motion to nominate May Bogdansky to fill the vacancy on the Township Committee for the term ending December 31st. 2023. Um, May moved to Wyckoff back in 1978. 
She went through the school system. She's a graduate of Ramapo High School. She then attended the New Jersey Institute of Technology School of Architecture. Then she went on to the University of Maryland, where she received her Bachelor of Science in Life Sciences. And then she <clears throat> furthered her career in the College of Optometry in, um, at the State University of New York. May has a very extensive work history, going all the way back to Wyckoff Bakery, and now she's the Director of Operations for an uh, international company. company. May has served the Township of Wyckoff um, in many roles. Some prior volunteerism was Julie's, Julia's Bu I'm sorry, Butterfly Foundation trustee, Wyckoff Education Foundation trustee, Sycamac School PTO president, Sycamac School treasurer, Wyckoff Coordinating Council, webmaster for Sycamac, Sycamac School PTO, and May is currently a Wyckoff Volunteer Ambulance Corp EMT. She's on the Wyckoff Planning Board, Wyckoff Envir Environmental Commission, co-founder of Women United for Stronger New Jersey, Families for Families, and Vice President, <coughs> excuse me, of the Wyckoff Republican Club. Since I know of May, she has volunteered countless hours and attended many events to help well-qualified Republicans get elected here in Wyckoff. May, May is a great leader and a team player. I also believe it's very important to replace Melissa, who is a great township committee woman, with another well-qualified woman. It shows the diversity of the township committee and the township of Wyckoff. Thank you. Okay. I'll second that nomination. Nancy, call the roll, please. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Shanley? This is a tough uh, vote. We've had a very tough uh, decision to make here. And uh, we interviewed three candidates that were presented to us by the township, uh, by the uh, county committee. Uh, and we've had discussions back and forth and we couldn't come on a consensus. So I know May is a good person and she would be a good person to serve on the township committee, but I believe Scott Fisher was a better choice, so I'm gonna vote no. Mr. Bunchta? Yeah, Pete, I appreciate your motion. Um, it was very well stated. Um, I know May, I know her abilities, um, but as Tim Shanley stated, it's not that simple. There are complicating factors here and differing opinions. So while it pains me, and, uh, and I do appreciate the sentiments, I too am gonna vote no on this motion. Thank you, Mr. Kunstra. We're gonna move on to the consent agenda. All matters listed below are considered by the Township Committee to be routine in nature. There will be no separate discussion of these items. If any discussion is desired by the Township Committee, that item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered separately. The first resolution outlines the procedure for Township Committee members to chair meetings in the Chair's absence. The second spells out the 2023 Township Committee liaison assignments to departments and boards. We'll start with the Chairperson, Thomas Madigan. He will serve as mayor on the finance committee, as police commissioner on the library board, uh, as a planning board member, personnel committee, Larkin House senior committee, facilities committee. Rudolph Bunstra will serve on the planning board, the sewer committee, deputy police commissioner, board of health, <coughs> safety committee, gardens of Wyckoff, Zabriskie House, and historic preservation. Peter Melchione will serve as Fire Commissioner, Fireworks Committee, DPW Road Commissioner, Environmental Commission Liaison, Finance Committee, Personnel Committee, Sewer Committee, and Facilities Committee, as well as the Memorial Day Parade in liaison with the VFW. Tim Shanley will serve as Parks and Recreation Advisory Board Member, Zoning Board Liaison, Ambulance Corps, Fireworks Committee, Utilities Committee, UCC Engineering Committee, Parks Commissioner, Ramapo Indian Hills School Board Liaison. Next, we will confirm the 2023 Fire Department Officers. The Fire Department Chief is Chief Joseph Vanderplatt. The Assistant Chief will be Chief jo Joseph Alvarez Sr. Fire Department Administrative Officers, Paul Kasabian Treasurer, Michael Shell Secretary, Fire Department Safety Officer, Timothy Brock, Company 1, Battalion Chief Timothy Murray Sr., Captain James Viapiano, Captain Patrick Alvarez, Lieutenant Joseph R. Alvarez, Lieutenant Peter Cascardo. Company 2, Battalion Chief E.J. Lawler, Captain Christopher Joachim. 
Company 3, Battalion Chief Jesse Levine, Captain E.J. Pruim, Lieutenant Austin Espy. Fire Prevention Officer Fred Depkin, Mandatory Compliance Carl Koffler. Fire Police <coughs> Chief Pete Tanney, Captain Joseph Salerno, Captain John Harrington, Robert Kehoe, Russ Hoffs, Ken Dyer, and Daryl Bagnolo. And the 2023 Board and Commission appointments. Some board members are new, but most are reappointments for 2023. For Chaplain, Reverend Fred Provencher, Local Assessment Search Officer, Nancy Brown, Deputy Tax Collector, Mary Ann Sweeney, Tax Search Officer, Mary Ann Sweeney, Public Defender, John J. Bruno Jr., Alternate Public Defender, Jeff Steinfeld, Prosecutor, Richard M. Rosa, Fire Assist First Assistant Prosecutor, E. Carter Corriston, Township Engineer, Mark DeGennaro, Emergency Management Coordinator, Sergeant Kyle Fre Ferreira, Deputy Emergency Management Coordinator, Sergeant Brian Zivkovich, Officer Michael Teagan, and Administrator Matt Cavallo. Municipal Housing Liaison, Matt Cavallo. Official Newspapers, Ridgewood News, The Record, and the North Jersey Herald News. Memorial Day Parade Chairman, Eric Rubenacher. Recreation Director, Andy Wingfield. Treasurer, Diana McLeod. Deputy Treasurer, Mary Ann Sweeney. These are the reappointments to the boards and commissions, as well as the new members. Parks and Recreation, Jeff Eichen, Chris Bean, Jennifer Saxton, John Giavacco, Patty DePhillips. Zoning Board, Mark Borst, Carl Fry, Nikki Rizvani, Chris Joachim, Doug Massinio. Planning Board, J. Joseph Vanderplatt, May Bogdansky, Sarah Caprio. Environmental Commission, May Bogdansky as the Planning Board Representative, Lisa Kober, Elizabeth J. Fisher, Danielle Compatiello, Ben Wiener. Board of Health, Donna Garbaccio, Stephen Clark, Casey Culinary, Historic Preservation, Richard Lynch, Douglas Swenson, Patricia Constance, Maureen Mitchell, Curtis Bajak, Joseph Sistero, Library Board, Brian Saxton, Kathleen Lane, Donna Macaluso as the Superintendent's Representative. Design Review Committee, Robert Ebel, Maureen Margar Margaritas, Edward Natal, Drita McNamara, Jennifer Saxton, <coughs> Shade Tree Commission, Daniel Kindergan, Scott Fisher, Zabriskie House Trustees, Richard Lynch, Valerie Abma, Joyce Santamoro. These are the professional service appointments for 2023. Township Attorney, Robert Landell. Professional Consulting Engineer, Boswell Engineering. Bond Counsel, Chisea Shanahan and Gia Tomasi. Tax Appeal Attorney, John Lloyd. Alternate Public Defender, Jeffrey Steinfeld. Municipal Court Prosecutor, Richard M. Rosa. Affordable Housing Planner, Elizabeth McManus. Licensed Surveyor, Stephen Ide. Labor Attorney, Raymond Wiss. Professional Auditor and Financial Advisor, Gary Higgins. Professional Planner, Brigitte Bogert. Municipal Court Public Defender, John J. Bruno. Special Counsel, Huntington Bailey. Special Counsel, Jeffrey S. Lipkin. Affordable Housing Administrator, Community Grants Planning and Housing. Appraisal Consultant, Residential, James F. O'Donnell. Tax Appeal Attorney, Martin Allen. Tax Appeal Consultant, Commercial, Appraisal Consultants Corp. You tired of me yet? <laughs> Annual Schedule of Township Committee Meetings. The following is just going to be me reading all the resolutions, up to 112. Establish town hall holidays and closures, temporary budget, ter temporary sewer utility budget, establish a cash management plan, township committee members to review and affix their signatures to vouchers, authorize signatures on drafts and checks against township funds, authorization of signatures on specific accounts, reinstatement of petty cash funds, authorizing investment of idle funds and fund <coughs> transfers, authorizing the filing of tax assessment appeal related documents, including petitions of appeals, cross appeals, counterclaims, complaints, answers, and interrogatories for assessment matters, interest rate and penalty on delinquent taxes and sewer service, amount required to redeem tax sales certificates, surety bonds, established fees for the use of recreation facilities and participation in recreation programs, authorizing award of contracts with vendors under state, county, and regional cooperative pricing systems, approved central purchasing system and purchasing manual, approval of municipal employee personnel manual, approved anti-discrimination policy, approved township sexual harassment prohibition policy, approved smoking control policy, designate a public agency compliance officer, 
authorize Township Engineer to sign future TWA applications for sewer extensions. Adoption of form required and to be used for filing of notices of tort claims against the Township. Approval of Police Department rules and regulations. Designation of police matrons and registered nurses. Re-establish civil rights policy. Establish fees for towing services. Re-establish fire department rules, regulations, and policies. Renewal of participation in Northwest Bergen Mutual Aid Association. Waive annual charges for fire company number two and number three. Waive annual rent for ambulance corps land lease. Renew agreement for commuter park and ride at Cornerstone Church. Establish rules and regulations which shall be the township facilities policy. Quasi-municipal groups for insurance purposes. Approval of local supplemental violations bureau schedule. Town hall front lawn policy. State health benefits. Re-establish the recreation policy manual. Appointment of school crossing guards. Re-establish travel reimbursement policy. Re-establish juvenile and adolescent suicide prevention crisis intervention committee and plan. Establish hearing officers and committees. Establish Drug and Alcohol Abuse Awareness Committee. Re-establish cooperative efforts with the Board of Education. Alcohol and Controlled Substances Policy for Commercial Motor Vehicle Operators. Appointment of GIF Representatives. Authorize participation in Bergen County Community College's Tuition Credit Program for volunteer firefighters and volunteer ambulance corps members. Authorize waiving of fees for volunteers. Appoint Emergency Management Committee. Establish a procedure and adopt forms to provide access to public records. Authorize the operation of Memorial Field, Pullis Field, and Wyckoff Community Park snack bars. Telephone, electronic transfer of funds. Employee compensation continues until sal salary ordinance is adopted. Setting the township's contribution to LOSAP for the members of the fire department and the ambulance corps. Issuances of checks between township committee meetings. Reestablish township committee bylaws. Authorize police private duty assignments. Extraordinary unspecifiable service appointments. Adoption of policy for ADA parking specifications and the posting of signs. Authorized language for municipal purchase orders. Municipal public information website policy and e-news communication policies. Bergen County Law Enforcement Mutual Aid and Rapid Deployment Force. Authorized disposition of public property no longer needed for public use. Adoption and endorsement of New Jersey ethics law. Void checks in excess of 180 days. Permitting and regulating still photography, videotaping, and audio recordings of public meetings. Small balances to be canceled. Establish employee benefits cafeteria plan. Designation of NIMS for incident management. Adoption of approved forms of surety and ratings of certificates of insurance. Authorize public work at private facilities in exchange for the use of these private facilities as municipal voting locations. Procedure to receive donations or plaques or to name municipal property. Authorize procedures required by the American Rescue Plan. Adoption of accounting and fiscal internal control manual. Not done yet. Fund balance annual review. Reappointment of Zabriskie House Trustee Mark DiGennaro. Reappointment of Zabriskie House Trustee Richard Lynch. Appointment of Zabriskie House Trustee Valerie Abma. Appointment of Zabriskie House Trustee Joyce Santamoro. Confirm social media policy. Reestablish vehicle use policy. Approve policy for recreation department policies and procedures manual. Annual monitoring of tax exemptions and pilot programs. Annual reporting of tax appeals filed. Authorized payment of annual service charges. Appointment of coordinator for emergency telephone system. Establish transit emergency plan. Establish Wyckoff as a stigma free zone. Elected officials transparency. Public interaction policy. Authorized closure of roads and establishment of detour routes. Appointment of municipal humane law enforcement officer and team. Adoption of cybersecurity policies. Rumor prevention policy. Reauthorized GIF personnel manual and supervisor's manual. Live streaming and posting video recordings of township committee work sessions and business meetings. Claimant certification requirements as per NJAC 530-9A.6 and 5-31-4.1. Establish computer use policies. To participate in the Defense Logistics Agency Law Enforcement Support Office 1033 program to enable the Wyckoff Police Department to request and acquire excess Department of Defense equipment. Policy governing the government speech flagpole. Township of Wyckoff policy of inclusiveness. Adopt a domestic violence policy. Establish modified no cash policy for the current year. Authorize fee charges for online and pay by phone portals. Adopt the GIF Mel Perfect Protecting Children program. Easy Public Access, a transparency program. Governing Body Certification of Compliance with the United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. 
authorized signing of civil rights compliance for the American Rescue Plan applications. Thank you. <laughs> May, I, <laughs> job, Nancy. May I have a vote on the consent agenda? Motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. Thank you. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. And Mr. Boonstra? Yes. With an affirmative vote, the motion is approved. Okay, this is the uh, Rumbleston, which is the good news. But before we uh, move on to the final, final two things, Township Committee remarks, please. Congratulations, Mayor. Look forward to this year. We have a lot to do, but I think we'll get it done. I know you can do it. I know we can all get together and do it. I have. I thank everyone for joining us on uh, on a New Year's Day Sunday. I appreciate to see everyone here. It's good now that the pandemic is over. We can get back to uh, <coughs> doing what we normally do here, and we love to do in Wyckoff. And I, 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 I wanted to make note um, under boards and commissions, which I mentioned in my earlier remarks. I want to thank. Um, Two long, long-term members of the Zabriskie House Board of Trustees for all their years of service. One is Gene Hildebrand, who I believe I see here today, and the other Jeez. is Jim Abma, who I do not think is here today. Tim? Uh, thank you. I want to wish everyone a happy new year, and um, congratulations to Tom on becoming mayor. But I do want to just say one thing. and. Um, when we interviewed the three uh, candidates to fill Melissa's uh, spot, we talked about how, and I brought up, we have to make tough decisions. And we had to make tough decisions because Scott Fisher, May Bedansky, and John Carolyn were very qualified candidates. Uh, and, it, you know, unfortunately, we had to have a vote where it was 2-2. And if I would have put Scott up, who I thought was the best quali quality candidate, who identified all the tough problems we're facing in 2023, uh, he would have been subjected to a 2-2 vote as well. So, and, and just so that the public knows what happens now, because we didn't have a consensus, it goes back to the Republican County Committee, and the Republican County Committee has to choose. So, thank you. Pete? <clears throat> all right, first I want to thank, uh, sorry, <laughs> I want to wish everyone a, uh, a happy new year. Uh, it's great to see a lot of familiar faces here today and to celebrate our uh, 2023 reorganization meeting. Um, I want to congratulate Rudy on his reelection and uh, Tom as our 2023 mayor. Look forward to working again with everyone on the township committee. Um, as I enter my third year on the township committee, I'm extremely happy and proud of what I've accomplished and I'm looking forward to building and continuing on that success with the rest of the uh, township committee. Um, it is a real team effort. Um, to, uh, to do what we do, and I think we're doing a great job with that. Uh, there's a reason why Wyckoff is one of the most desirable towns, I believe not only in Bergen County, but in the uh, state of New Jersey, and it's because of the leadership of the Township Committee, our hardworking Wyckoff employees, and the countless, countless volunteers of Wyckoff, which makes us a very special town and a very desirable town. <laughs> And then one of my new roles this year is I have the honor to serve as fire commissioner. I look forward to that and working with, I think hands down is the best volunteer fire department in the state of New Jersey, and if not in the country. And I know Nancy mentioned before, but just a reminder, um, if you can make it, please attend fire company one right behind us for the swearing in of the officers. And there will also be uh, refreshments, sir. And that's all I have, Mayor. Thank you. Okay, moving on. Uh, I'd like to have a motion to open to the public for 10-minute period. So move. Second. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Melchion? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. And Mr. Winstra? Yes. Okay, we have a 10-minute public period, two minutes per speaker for public comment on any governmental issue that a member of the public feels may be a concern to the residents of Wyckoff. If you wish to make a comment, please come forward. Or you could also call in at 201-891-7000, extension 2220. So if you'd like to make a comment, come forward. Otherwise, we're going to adjourn. I don't hear the phone ringing. Oh, there's somebody coming up. Hi. Hello. 
Name, Name my address, name. Danielle Compatiello, 731 Hickory Hill Road, Wyckoff. Um, first of all, congratulations, and congratulations to you as well, Rudy. Um, and I look forward to helping out on the Environmental Commission again for a second term, so thank you again for appointing me on that. Um, I just wanted to just put it out there that, as you stated, 900 would you say 900 families or people families. yeah yep. so 900 families have moved into Wyckoff new people people that yes were attracted to our town for all the reasons we've stated um, with that change you know of new people new ideas come in and we've seen that every time we've been getting elections and in order to keep a lot of that it's imperative that we have the right people sitting in your seats and on all of our commissions and such. Um, I just want to put it out there for the powers that be in this room that may sit on the county committee. In making your decision, I ask that you think about who has a pulse of the town of Wyckoff, not just, you know, committee members and such, but someone that has their pulse on the families of Wyckoff, um, all of the families of Wyckoff. And I believe that's Mae Bedansky, and that's why she has my support, and I hope that people that hear this think about that. It is a very tough decision. You have great two candidates, but for me, it's a definite um, easy decision when you think of Mae Bedansky as a whole person and what she's done for the community and for how many years she has. So thank you. Thank you. Anybody else wish to come forward? Yes, ma'am. And then this gentleman over here. Cynthia Phillips, 764 Janice Court. Um, I just want to support what Danielle said. I think that um, May definitely has not just a pulse, but a long history in this community. And her service is incredible. And I also think that something that Pete said was really important, which was having real true diversity on this township council. And I think that replacing May, I mean replacing Melissa with May Bogdansky gives you that balance. I think that women bring a certain unique perspective and um, she would be extremely, extremely competent and capable in that capacity. Thank you. Thank you. Don't get nervous that I'm at a microphone, Tom. Yeah, nervous. First of all, congratulations, Rudy, on your reelection. Uh, Tom, congratulations on holding the position of mayor. The only thing what I would ask, uh, in the spirit of New Year's and everybody getting along, that whoever the choice is by county committee, Rita, and, and your team, that you all work together for the best interest of Wyckoff. That's simple, okay? I have to roll this Miss? down because I'm short. Dorita McNamara, 419 Lake Road, here in Wyckoff for 26 years. Out of the 26 years, been on Wyckoff Republican County Committee. I took Rudy's spot as chair of Wyckoff Republican County Committee. We are in the, we literally have every election every two years, and we're able to get all the people on this township committee with, between phone calls, between letters, between postcards, and we go out and go door to door. At this point in time, I just want to make sure we have some clarification <coughs> that because a decision hasn't been met by the four of you, at this point it goes back to county committee because of the bylaws that we have. We interviewed five individuals earlier and sent up the three best, and I have to tell you, best, every one of them. And we cherish being the way we are in taking a look and interview as we do. We took a look at the experience, we took a look at each individual literally. So I just want to let everybody know on the bylaws, we have two weeks to get back together and make a decision. And I know our county committee, and I just want the county committee to stand up just to say thank you. Some of them are here. We have 20 individuals on county committee. So literally, the time and effort all these people make, all volunteers, all elected officials, I just want to say thank you for that. So thank you and congratulations, Mayor. Anybody else? Yes, ma'am. Looks familiar. Hello. Uh, May Yazdi Bogdansky. Um, I'm that 
person that everyone's speaking about. <laughs> um, I, I do want to thank everybody for your time and your consideration. Um, I do want to make a point that I'm sure, just like I have supporters, Scott Fisher has a lot in this room as well. Scott and I have spoken. Um, I have the most respect for Scott. And um, I know both of us are qualified candidates. And I think no matter what the outcome is, we A, appreciate everybody's consideration. And I, I wholeheartedly believe Scott will do just as good as a job as I would um, on the seat. So um, I have a lot of respect for Scott. And whatever the decision is, I think it's a win-win. So thank you. You have to come up. Yeah, come on up. Come on up. On the record. That's what we do. It's on the video. Scott Fisher, uh, 488 Payne Road in Wyckoff. Um, I echo May's comments. Um, I support May 100%. I think she's an outstanding individual, and I think she would do a fantastic job in the role of committee woman. Um, I am here, as May, to just continue helping to make Wyckoff a great community. That is my only goal. I think that is May's goal. John Carolyn, I'd be remiss if I forgot John, who's a prior member of this town council. Um, I think we're all here for the same reason. It's a great town, that's why we're here. And we want to keep it that way. And May and I are kind of on the same play page and uh, whatever the decision coming forward is, I know May and I both will serve equally and we will all support each other together to continue what we've all talked about and that's why we're here. Wyckoff's a great community. Thank you, happy new year. Okay, seeing no more, can I have a Tom, motion? I, just yes. one clarification. Sure. The, the work the county committee uh, will embark on, it, it, um, just a correction, it's a statutory, statutory obligation. It's not a matter of policy. It's a statutory obligation. Right. I just want to clear that up. Thank right. you. Right. And before we close the public, I'm going to make a, just a comment to tie into yours for continuity. Mm -hmm. As uh, Mr. Uh, Shanley pointed out, it was a tough decision of the township committee um, with the excellent candidates. Uh, unfortunately, we threw it to the county committee, so the county community committee will determine uh, who will sit up here. But I'm confident that uh, they will value the public's input, and I look forward to when they decide to get together so they can take some public input. With that, anybody else? I think we did. Bill? Bill Brock. 257 Godwin Avenue, Wyckoff. A lifelong resident of Wyckoff, almost a 50-year member of the Wyckoff Fire Department. And we just want to say that uh, we believe any one of these candidates are very capable of doing the job. And we thank the committee for the time that they put in. And we thank these candidates for putting their names up to be a part of this township committee. But I'd also like to say that as far as the fire department is concerned, that our doors are always open. We meet every Monday night, fire company number one, two, and three. We always meet on Monday nights, and we also always have a little dinner afterwards, and our doors are always open, and you're all welcome to be with us on that Monday night. And Pete, as commissioner, we look forward to working with you, but we also extend a plectron to you, so if you want to respond with us at one o'clock in the morning, you're welcome to do that. I, uh, Thank you. Thanks, Bill. Just one Bill, I've actually, not at a fire department, but I worked, uh, volunteered EMS in East Rutherford, and my, ships were, my shift was 6 p.m. to 6 a.m., and I had Plenty of bloody nose calls at 2.30 in the morning in February when it's five degrees out. So I'll see you out there. Okay. And by the way, i just make one last comment, then we're going to get a motion to close out and then adjourn. Is uh, I was fortunate to serve as fire commissioner for the past two years. The best thing I've ever done in this town. So we get the best group of volunteers, dedicated people, totally professional, and um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. And we should be thanking them, our ambulance, volunteer ambulance court, each and every day. So uh, with that, we're going to close to the public officially. Yeah, seeing and hearing no one else, I move to close public comment. Second. 
Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. And Mr. Boonstra? Yes. With an affirmative vote, the motion is approved. Okay, the best motion of the day. Motion to adjourn, so please. Second. Mr. Madigan? Yes. Mr. Melchione? Yes. Mr. Shanley? Yes. And Mr. Boonstra? Yes. yes. With an affirmative vote, the motion is approved. Okay, the motion.